a network of fake social media profiles of people claiming to be Sikhs and promoting divisive narratives, has been exposed. The influence operation used accounts across Twitter, Facebook and Instagram to promote Hindu nationalism and pro-Indian government narratives. The aim of the network appears to have been to alter perceptions on important issues around Sikh independence, human rights, and values, according to the report's author, Benjamin Strick. The network used so-called sock puppet accounts, which are fake ones controlled by real people posing as independent individuals rather than automated bots. The fake profiles used Sikh names and claimed to be real Sikhs. They used the hashtags hash real Sikh to endorse, and hash fake Sikh to discredit, different political viewpoints. The report, from non-profit organization the Center for Information Resilience, found many of the accounts in the network used the same fake profiles across several platforms. These accounts shared the same names, profile pictures and cover photos, and published identical posts. Many of the accounts used profile pictures of celebrities, including actresses in the Punjabi film industry. Using a celebrity profile picture does not in itself prove an account is fake. However, the report says that combined with the coordinated messaging, frequently used hashtags, similar biography descriptions and follower patterns, the pictures added to the evidence that each of these accounts was not genuine. The management of another celebrity said there are thousands of such fake accounts associated with their client, and there wasn't much they could do about it. On Friday, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the repeal of three controversial farm laws after a year of farmers protesting against them. The farmers' protests, which started a year ago this week, and the decades-old Khalistan independence movement were the two discussion topics most frequently targeted by the network. According to the report, the accounts sought to label any notion of Sikh independence as extremist, and delegitimize the farmers' protests, claiming they had been hijacked by Khalistani terrorists. But before that, the Indian government had also claimed that the farmers' protest had been infiltrated by the Khalistanis. The farmers who continue to protest believe this may have been a deliberate political move. We believe these accounts were set up at the behest of the government and it was done to set a narrative against the protests said Jagjit Singh Dalewal, leader of the Bharatiya Kisan Union, one of about 30 unions sitting in protest. Some accounts painted diaspora communities in the UK and Canada as harboring the Khalistani movement. The accounts had thousands of followers, and posts from the network have been liked and retweeted by real influencers and quoted on news sites. Many influence operations fail to get real people to interact with the fake accounts they create. In the case of this network though, the research identified posts which were interacted with and endorsed by the verified accounts of public figures. The report also identified content from the fake profiles embedded on news blogs and commentary sites. Experts on influence operations describe this as amplification and the more the network receives, the more impact it can have. Rubel Nagy, who on Twitter describes herself as a humanitarian and social worker, had responded to one of the fake account's tweets with two clapping hands emojis. She said she is sad that it was a fake account. Call Rohit Dev, who calls himself a geopolitical military analyst, had responded to one of these accounts posts with thumbs up emojis but told us he did not know the person behind the handle. Nikhil Pawa, a digital rights activist and editor of technology policy website Medianama, says that these influence networks target individuals with a particular point of view. These idiot accounts will not necessarily make something trend, but with consistent posting, they try to discredit a point of view, he said. This seems to be a sophisticated approach, and seems to be a part of a larger operation. Very little of the content included text in Punjabi, the biggest language for Sikhs in India, and nearly all the content was in English. Mr. Pawa points out that there was political activity around the farmers' protests from all sides, with people trying to support and discredit them. It's all a part of the game to win the political narrative war. Twitter suspended the accounts for violating their rules prohibiting platform manipulation and fake accounts. A Twitter spokesperson said, at this time, there's no evidence of widespread coordination, the use of multiple accounts by single people, or other platform manipulation tactics. 
Meta also removed the accounts on Facebook and Instagram for violating its inauthentic behavior policies. A Meta spokesperson said the accounts misled people about the origin and popularity of their content and used fake accounts to spam people and evade our enforcement. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.